not an easy or quick Ikea trip which they never are are they uh, also just let you know my dog is panting right now it's because there's fireworks going on and uh, here in the UK anyone can just buy fireworks and throw them in their garden and he's very anxious because they're really loud so I'm sorry for the, the background noises can't do anything he's very nervous um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that I got a tabletop trestle legs and a bookcase and I also got a few things that I shouldn't have gotten but I just did I can't help myself they're kind of like silly but I got this little pink uh, water mist thing for the plants I got a tape dispenser because the one I have is crappy and is broken so I mean it's black it's simple quite liked it and I got this sticker notebook I know, buddy, I know, he's scared. He just needs to be around so that he feels more comfortable. Um, so I got this notebook with stickers and labels. And I just thought the colors are really nice. Really cute. I don't know, I don't actually need this, but maybe I can put them in my orders, I don't know. Or just uh, put my sketchbook, we'll see. So I got that for like three pounds. Shouldn't have gotten it, but also got this thing for the iPad. It's too small, so I don't know how <laughs> if it will work. Uh, so I got like a little mat for the table, and uh, it's kind of you know rough at the top, and then really soft at the the other side. Okay, so that's it for now. It's too late, so I'm just gonna edit the vlog that you've probably watched by now, and then tomorrow I'll just put everything up and clean this place get this mess sorted <laughs> So this is the entrance, this is the door, that's the cardboard from the IKEA table from yesterday which I still have to cut, make it easier to pack. Um, here's a little card saying beware black cat on duty because you guys have seen Karma, my little black cat. Little owl which I find so cute. Yeah, You probably see that I have an obsession with owls so be prepared. And we close the door. So I have this Merry Christmas owl. I never put it down because I find it so cute, but it is weird because it's Merry Christmas. Anyways, we're very close to it. Might as well. And then I have my Tomb Raider poster. I got with the first uh, reboot Tomb Raider. Came with the game and uh, I am a Tomb Raider nerd. So near the door here, you have the light switch and then you have this little corner here under the staircase. And um, it's probably one of my favorite things about this room has this little um, tabletop here and I saw it I thought this is perfect for the printing area where I can just keep you know I keep my printer here and uh, I keep a, a plastic bag over it so that it doesn't get as dusty I also have my papers here printing paper sticker paper all that sort of stuff 
and that's copy paper. So yeah, and this is the let me see. So this is the printer that I use. It's quite an average printer. It's an inkjet printer and I love it a bit. So this little thing which makes it so helpful to edit everything on the little um, the little class thing. So yeah. And then I decorated with a bunch of stickers. It's a bit dark here, but that's a Lois sticker. I got it from her Kickstarter. Um, the second one from the sketchbook that she made. So yeah, that's my little printer there. Uh, and under the little tabletop, I have just a bunch of cardboard um, that I need to cut. That bag over there has some materials that I need to... Well, I used to use to make handmade pins. This here is a magnet board that belonged to my old desk. It just kept falling and then one day I kind of went crazy and removed it. I have some manila envelopes, bubble wrapped envelopes, which I use usually for my pins. Here I have some wrapping paper that I use for smaller orders like the pins, stickers, just to make it really cute. And then I have a box full of bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> Blue, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry guys, he's playing with his new toy and it's a bit noisy, <laughs> see? <laughs> so I'm sorry guys if you hear this in the background, just know that it's him and I, I mean I can't stop him can I, he's so cute and he's happy, good boy boo, good boy, eh, you're a good boy. Um, I put some fairy lights to decorate him. Um, and it looks very cute. I'll show you a clip at the end of how the studio looks at night with these turned on because it looks so cute and cozy. Um, so I, I really love this part and decorating the staircase uh, adds a bit extra to the studio. And then I got this fake plant from Ikea to also decorate a bit of the staircase. It just adds something else, you know? And uh, you've, seen, you've probably seen it in the background of my studio vlogs. Um, and I really like it. So yeah, these stairs lead up to my bedroom upstairs. And over here, I have the bookcase that I got this uh, weekend. So I didn't know if I wanted it horizontal or vertical, but I think this setup works the best way uh, because vertical, it wouldn't fit in here. Let me show you what, I have another fake plant here um, and I put some fairy lights over it to decorate it. I use these lights for photos and, you know, just decoration. And then let's start with the top. This used to be a wall calendar. Yeah, the calendar was already too old, so I just removed it and kept it so that I can stick some notes to it. And here I have my little felt owl. It was a gift from my mom, so I don't know where she got it, but I find it so cute. It's green, it's an owl, it's everything I want. <laughs> um, my sister thinks it's creepy. I don't agree, but do you agree? Do you think it's creepy? Um, here I have a little basket. I think I got this little basket from Ikea. So I made a um, artist fair back in February this year. Anyways, I got it from my, oh god blue. So yeah, I got it for that fair and obviously now I keep it to for storage. So yeah, that's where I keep my pins. And then this little box I keep just little boring things. I got some of these little things that you use to write your plants names I think and put it on the pots. I got some stamps that my mom got me. That were very cheap and this one says congratulations i don't think i can use this step ever but thanks mom i got some uh, labels for the orders i don't i have got two of them but i don't use them anymore and then i put this here it's probably too heavy for the top of the drawers but i like seeing them here um and then i've got these this little drawer thing uh, my mom got me this one as well. Thanks so much, mom. You're helping an artist out. <laughs> she goes on her shopping journeys and whenever she sees something um, cute that I might like, she brings it to me and uh, very thankful. Uh, this one is one of my favorite things she ever got me. Uh, it's super colorful, cute, and very useful. Very. So I'll show you what I have here. I use this for mixing resin applying resin you know resin and all of that stuff so on this one i have more stuff that i use for the pin making some baking paper where i used to put the pins so that i could make them in the oven so here are some gloves that i use for the resin um 
Here I got some of my pens materials. This is the backing of the pen. I never used these, but I I wanted to. Um, they're keychains. I always thought maybe I'll make some, but I never got to make it. Um, these are some plastic cases from the pens that I keep them in case I ever need them. Here's a here's one of the handmade pins, one of the first few ones that I made. So this is plastic. It has the um, the backing stuck with hot glue. I think it's really cute, but you know. It is what it is. Um, here I have the latest pins that I tried to make earlier this year. This one I made with shrink paper, which I printed. Um, so I made the design on like Photoshop, then printed, cut it, put it in the oven, it shrinks, then I would coat it with Mod Podge. What I didn't know is after searching when it failed so many times, why didn't I search it in the beginning? I felt so stupid. But after searching a bit, I figured that my inkjet probably has the worst inks for Mod Podge. So it just blend and come and get really dark and it's really bad. The ink just bleeds and sadly, let me show you how many I made that just failed. All of these to tell a story of how I failed miserably got so many of them look look how bad it is I was so heartbroken um, I have a um, little cutting thing uh, what do you call this uh, exacto knife I think it's that's it an exacto knife I don't like it it's crappy <laughs> and I'm so scared of cutting myself so I just put it here uh, what else okay this oh right so I got just a few handmade pins left and what I thought I was going to do instead of you know ruining them like the other one or just leaving them around because I feel so attached to them I thought I'll just sell them like this without the coating and it's so much better I mean because they don't have a coating it means that they are not entirely waterproof that they can break easily you know and they don't look as shiny but they're still um, wearable and I find them really cute so yeah, everything's handmade. I cut the little piece. It's very wonky, but I like rough things. Um, I painted it, wrote it, and then made the pin, and put the backing, uh, and then put a sticker handmade with love. These are my last handmade things that I have in my shop. Um, and these are my stickers. So before I was making handmade stickers as well, and guess what? I am really done with handmade stickers, at least for selling. Uh, so yeah, I made these ones of my designs of Greenie. And they're really cute. Really proud of them as well. Another one gone. Let's see this one. Oh, right. So this is um, when I ordered my Zens from uh, last year, from Inktober 2017. The company, I think, I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but they um, gave me an extra one. So I used this one for a sample, as in... When I went to the to that fair in February, I used this for people to go through every page and you know they can touch it with their fingers, they can if it gets ruined, it's okay. Just so they can see the inside, because then I have the other ones individually packed. And they're also numbered so that I don't miss how many are left because these are limited. I'm not making more of them. And uh, yeah. These are my Inktober Zins from last year. I am trying to make something for this year, it's Inktober. I'll let you know when I figure out what the heck I'm doing. And here are some receipts that I just keep from my post office runs. And then I have more Inktober Zins. You guys have seen in my first studio vlog, I think. I've talked about it. So, yeah, so I thank you, postcards. Another thing that I'm so happy with. And here I have my handmade cut little hearts. I say handmade, but I use a little, uh, what is, what do you call, like a puncher machine thing? So it has a, like a little heart stamp and I just put the paper and it cuts it and makes it into little hearts. I use it for my photos, um, for my shop. They're really cute. And the final one, I've got my, some stickers I got from... Um, random places and then my older stickers are all here um, these are the ones I have left and I use them to decorate my 
packages and then I have these vinyl glossy ones uh, and these are my prints that I made of my sticker designs I gave them with the pre-orders but I'm thinking of doing oh should I tell you this I'm thinking of making uh, mystery packages again because I did a last year for Christmas I think or after Christmas I'm thinking of making mystery packages where I put everything greeny in it and when you buy one you don't know what's inside it could be a pin a print and a sticker or two stickers and a print you know all that stuff and this would be included don't know do you like that idea feel free to let me know because I really like mystery packages so please don't judge me but I've got a banner stuck to the TV uh, so this room came with the TV included I don't need it here it would be distracting um, and because it's on the wall it can be very uncomfortable to even use it as a um, second screen I thought <laughs> I have this banner from the last fair that I did and it's very outdated at this point but I thought well it would kind of match the studio and it kind of, you know, makes sense. Looks a bit silly. I stuck it with blue tack. And yeah, I, I think it looks kind of cute, but <laughs> don't judge me. And here I have another owl that my mom got me as well. And it says, all you need is love. And here on top of the bookcase, let's go very quickly. So I've got this little thing to put, um, what do you call this, an easel? stand so I put one of my favorite Inktober prints from last year just put it here and this little planter I found so cute but I keep it to um, put some these are my shipping labels uh, with my address and this pin has um, um, let me see if I, you can see it on the forehead it has a little dot you can't see it there can you see that little dot on the forehead and uh, I only really have this one I had a few I had three more that had some minor flaws and I gave it to my sister my two sisters and my mom and this one is just here and I don't think I would sell it because just one I'm really happy with the quality of the pin so just want to sell it I don't know maybe I'll do a giveaway and uh, it, it would still do well not sure my sticky notes tape love this thing my mom got it for me again thanks mom <laughs> she helps me a lot with getting cute little things that are so useful then I got this little shell I got it from Tiger um, and it's just to put my daily earrings and jewelry that I've used um, then I got these little boxes from Ikea this one I keep my business cards and on this one I keep random things like my mechanical pencil leads rubbers some little clips then this is my you, I think you've seen already this is what I got from Ikea a little sticker notebook and here is my current sketchbook that I'm drawing in again my own stickers but I've got here one of my favorite stickers ever this is from Lee um, you probably know her from her YouTube channel. I love her work and I love her channel. Uh, I'll try to link it in the description so that you can check it out. Uh, I would love to support more artists and I would have loved to buy more from Lee, but I got this little sticker. It's a tiger and I love it. Um, and here are my headphones. Not aesthetic, is it? You know, I use them for playing and also for, edit for editing. My cat's bed here. Uh, she can finally lay down around me while I work it's so much better. Here I got some more shipping materials, tapes and all of that. Here are my iPad and Apple Pencil cases. There I keep my prints and uh, uh, cello bags, my originals. That's a box of supplies. Um, what else? Those little cases here. It's where I keep my receipts. Um, this is my bin that I'm gonna keep here for now but I hope that I can get this space to put cardboard backings. I've got my candles. This is my Loish. Um, it's what she did for her Kickstarter, the sketchbook one, the sketchbook of Loish. Um, so I use, I put it here because it's so pretty to just, you know, leave it around anywhere. I've um, got my steel uh, ruler. 
I've got, got my pencil case where I keep most of my pens and all that I use for my orders, decorating and all of that stuff. I got a little box here that I keep my strings, ribbons and some stickers that didn't come out very well. The quality wasn't great. So I'm just keeping them for now. Um, that box there has more, um, you know, random stuff for shipping that I don't use as much. Some envelopes and all of that. Here I have my envelopes. These ones are like um, bubble wrapped. These ones are with the comes with already some cardboard. This is my paper tissue paper. Um, here are some books that I keep. Uh, these are just about plants and flowers. And here I have my Shadow of the Tomb Raider um, boxes. It was a pre-order and then comes with this steel box. You know, I am a nerd about Tomb Raider, so really nice. And then I have the art book for the first Tomb Raider reboot. Um, let me show you. Yeah, sorry that it's a bit dark here, but look at that. So beautiful. So that's my Tomb Raider art book. I got this Birds of the West African Town and Garden. This was from my dad. Um, I think he got from a friend. I can't remember. And he, sometimes he just gives me random things. And um, so yeah, I keep it here. What else? Oh, and these are my Inktober sketchbooks. That I already made a video about it. So I got from 2015. You know, it's all the drawings, and I got from 16, there you go, I made a whole video about it, it's so long, but it's me talking about each drawing, there you go, that's from last year, yeah, this is another gardening book that I've used for um, reference and just looking through, okay, and uh, then I have a dossier with more paperwork, that blue notebook there is okay let me share this with you this is from my teen years when i was writing stories by hand i was thinking of writing my own book and these are my notes but yeah it's old and embarrassing but i still like <laughs> going through it and just reading it i still find it amusing and i kind of like the stories and what else i have some imagine effects magazines here I don't get as many of them as I wish. I only have two. My first one that I ever got, which was like 10 years ago. And one day I was just walking with my parents. I was like 15 at that time. I love these and I hope one day I can have my art on the magazine as well. And this was my first one. And then I think two years ago, um, an artist that I love and I've had the pleasure of just chatting with her and it's Vic, it's Victoria. So she had her art on the cover and when I saw it, I had to get the magazine because it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. So yeah, here, at, at Tom Hawks, Victoria Gravilenko, but my God, she is amazing. Um, so yeah, my other dog is now playing with the ball. Sorry for the noises. Um, let me show you the rest. Since I'm already here, I got this four years ago, I think, a drawing for fantasy artists. I just uh, saw it on the local art store and I thought it looked really beautiful. So, yeah, it's it's really interesting. Um, the process, the sketches and all that, it's just beautiful. Um, then I got this from Imagine Effects the Sketchbooks, Volume 2. So it's a bunch of sketches from different artists. I think there's more volumes out right now, but it's just incredible to look through. And then I got this big book. Uh, Beginner's Guide to Digital Painting and Photoshop Characters. So there's only one reason I got this book, and it's because it has Charlie Bo Waters art on the cover. Charlie is another artist I admire and I just love her work and she's also a fantastic person. So I link their uh, Instagrams on the description. I just got this book for her art. Um, it's a nice book. It's from 3D Total, I think. 
and has a bunch of useful things if you're into this kind of stuff. To me, I don't really, um, I don't really consume tutorials or anything. So for me, this is just, you know, I just like to look through the images. And there I have a bunch of copy paper that I don't use, I don't need now. And then I have some orders that, some of my own personal stuff and I keep it there. Then I have white glue. My God, they're being so noisy. And then here, I know that I want to put stuff in it, get some boxes maybe, decorated with plants, I don't know yet. I mean, plants would be probably dangerous since my dogs now sleep here. <laughs> they love this. Um, yeah, I keep my bag there. And over there, I keep another little bed for my cat if she wants to join the dogs, I don't know. Just, see, just to keep it comfy, they love it. And then I have a big case with all the drawings from my high school that I don't think the world wants to see ever. Not even I want to see it. We're on to the tabletop. So let me show you what I have on the window. Uh, I have my old stinky radio there that I loved listening to radio uh, while I work. Then I have a little fake candle thing that doesn't work. Then these little things I got from Ikea. They are like uh, picture frames. You're supposed to take the paper and then put a picture, but I like the prints, so I kept them. And this is my little coin bank with an owl again. It fell once because of my cat and I was so heartbroken, but I managed to glue it back. And then I got this little sign that says fairies welcome. This here is so cute, but uh, this here is a hamster house. I used to have a little dwarf hamster years ago. Sadly, she passed away because they don't live very long. And... Um, I kept her little things in the attic with the thoughts that maybe one day I would have another hamster and I could reuse the things, but I ended up giving it away. But when I saw the little strawberry house, I liked it so much and it reminded me of her. And that's another candle thing. This one does work and I'll show you again at night how it looks. Um, and then my little plants that I try to be the best mom for them, but I know that I'm not perfect. And here, this is my table so happy with it guys i'm not the greatest at uh, studio tours i've just figured out now that i'm doing this i hope it's not too long or boring um i'm stressing out because i don't know if i want to say what everything is so i'm just going to try to be as quick as possible my ipad pro the 12 inch 0.9 uh, my stickers didn't have the greatest quality they had some marks so i just put them here and then i put my pencil here um, I got this little, this was actually in this room before, so it must belong to the landlord. It was just um, behind, behind a shelf upstairs. Uh, this is from Ikea as well. It's uh, to put any plates or uh, anything that I might want to instead of ruining the table. I got this from Tiger, just decoration, and I thought it was so cute and green. Uh, I put my ruler on it, green as well, you can see the theme. Then I got this little drawer thing that I got many years ago. And I keep here, this is my glove for protecting the screen. And I keep here most of my pens. This postcard pens. I've got some alcohol markers from Spectra. Then I stuck some notes here. This little magnet, which I put some blue tack so they um, sticks to it and you know today I woke up flawless it's good to have positive notes around your studio always some sticky notes the tape that I got from Ikea this Saturday my little baby pencil sharpener that I've got since high school um, then I have a little basket where I keep my lighters to light up the candles and some pegs is as, as I call it uh, and then my pencil case where I keep my uh, watercolor pencils then the new water mist thing that I got on Ikea for the plants more pencil cases more owls and I got a little um, box that I got from Hobbycraft oops and I keep my washi tapes in it then a mirror for reference you know always useful um, more candles that smell great because they're Yankee candles they smell so good and look another owl <laughs> you see the thing don't you um this i love this little pencil holder is that it it's beautiful 
beautiful in quality and I got it from a charity shop so I got it for like three pounds someone just put it there and honestly guys if you can get your hands on a charity shop some uh, a place where they can sell things for a smaller amount of money and they'll give it to a good cause and you get some really nice things in there these are olive jars <laughs> that I reuse and painted them so that I can keep more pens this is a candle thing so you put the candle on the bottom and then it makes the light with the flowers you know to make those shapes on the wall but I keep it to put some um, sharp things like a scissors a knife this is my hole puncher punch thing I got it from Obbycraft and you open this thing and you have um, different sizes to make the holes bigger or smaller my stapler so yeah that's it then my other pencil case yeah, I keep my fabric castell pens here which I use so much for my sketchbook and here I have my notebook so that I can write down the tasks for the day and doodle of course and this is my weekly planner here. I got it from Tesco a long time ago. Tesco is like a local supermarket here in the UK. This is my agenda, you know, another owl. I got it from Tesco as well. And it's super cute. I didn't use agendas any uh, as much because, you know, they have the date and I don't really follow through. I'm more of a weekly planner because I can use it anytime I want. But yeah, it's so nice. Love the colors. And then I have another weekly planner here, which is the one that I've been using the most right now. So, yeah, that's my table. That's that's mostly it. Um, and over here I have. Oh, by the way, this is my my chair. So yeah, I got the chair from IKEA, and then my mom got me this um online. So it's like to support your back. And over here, I have this little, this is supposed to be a planting thing. So you put some, it's from Ikea. So you're supposed to put some plant pots here and then you hang your plants. But I got it for the fair back in February. And uh, I use it like this to hang some prints and originals. And I just use it in my studio so that I can hang my bags and put some photos um, and you know, just, random things that I want to hang. My dog broke this lamp that was supposed to be a clipper, easy to put anywhere. He broke it when he was so scared of the fireworks. So now I tried to put some tape and be DIY, you know, didn't work, it's falling. Um, some magnets, that was for the board that I can't use now, so I just put them here. Um, another one here. So yeah, at the back here, there's a painting. This is an original from a friend from a few years ago. Um, it's all done in Copics and it's beautiful. I love dragons and um, I think his name is Christopher Tullis. I kind of just lost touch with him, but he's an amazing artist and this is gorgeous. Here I have uh, the round table and I just put this plant that is not doing very well. I think it needs to be here instead of on the window. And this is a little bag for with makeup and all those little things that I keep here. I kept this little table to put my cutting board and my tripod. And this is a tray that I was using for the handmade pins. So I would keep them here and uh, make sure that they would dry properly. And I kind of just left it here even though I'm not using for that anymore. At the bottom I have my cutting mat and that's my clipping board that I used to draw and kind of incline on the table. And this is the second desk, the old one. So I got this chair from Ikea as well. I got it for the fair back in February and it's so useful to use in the second table. There I have, uh, this is a very, very old um, round thing from Ikea. It was, I, can, I think it's for the kitchen to put on the table and kind of serve food. But I was using it for my handmade pins because it was easy to it kind of turned uh, spins, um, but it's broken now. So yeah, I got that little board thing. I got some um, tracing paper. I got an old sketchbook from my high school. It has old art and a lot of paper still that I can use. So this got, got destroyed uh, because of my dog. This is where he broke the lamp and kind of destroyed a bunch of things. Poor thing, I don't blame him because he gets so scared. 
and that's some cables from my laptop this is a black board that I was going to use for the fair but I never used it it was to display some stickers this is my tube to put artwork from high school this is my case with the easel then I also have another case here from the tripod so yeah, and this is my old desk so this is my laptop and my little stand for my key as well and the stand I have my Wacom Intuos Pro it's the small size so yeah here was supposed to be the magnet board but doesn't you know um, work anymore and this that I got from my badges from The Walking Dead and uh, I guess I just kept the paper here on this drawer I have the hell that it is for the cables so yeah, no one wants to see that and here I have another drawer and I keep some pens that don't work anymore another notebook um, another pen that I had a flaw but this one is mine so I kept it for myself my phone case and some personal paperwork on this here I've been able to organize it much better so here I have some watercolor paper Bristol paper uh, marker paper, you know, the usual for drawing. This, these are my ink cartridges. I need to buy more. I've got some frames here, empty frames. Some of my Mod Podge and resin. At the back, I have some um, old prints that failed miserably, and I just didn't want to throw them away. And here I have old sketchbooks, all filled with old art. And um, that's my fixing spray and that's enamel spray that I didn't know what it was so yeah here I have some I want to keep this desk just for you know editing and laptop work so I'm keeping it very simple uh, this is their rent case for pencils and then I have this little basket this is my blue microphone raspberry black microphone I got it from my sister for my birthday let me just show you what it looks like so this is my microphone. This is a USB light. So a lot of stuff. Put this here. Uh, here are my sketchbooks and notepads. That you know, I'm the type of person that hasn't finished one sketchbook and she's already starting another one. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is another pencil case with some pens. And this one here is more personal. My wallets. I've got my phones that are broken and. I can't seem to throw them Here away. I have some cookie jars that don't have cookies, they're empty. This one I think has nail polish. Just random stuff. Um, I have here a frame with one of my sketches. Got my perfume for the room. This is my little sister, she made a little fox. A uh, little mushroom, owl, little toy from uh, those chocolate eggs. Um, I have an obsession with Puka and Garu. Um, so I got this little guy you know this is from my childhood and i still keep them and it's a little stamp that makes a little garu face and you know it doesn't fall so cute this is from a pen the pen broke so i just took the little puka <laughs> little figurine from it uh this was a keychain also broke so i just kept garu this was a phone thing string uh, my phone doesn't take it anymore so i just keep it here this I got from a charity shop and I loved it because it's a black cat. to keep some clips. It's to clip some papers and all of that. And uh, it was so cute because of the cat. But uh, guess who broke it? The two ears. My cat. She kept going to it and it just fell and broke. I'm so sad. Um, this is my, what do you call this? A drive, external drive to keep some old files and if my laptop ever dies I have most of my important stuff in there this is a little Halloween figurine so you light it up and ta-da it's a scary owl but it's so cute I've got a plant here that is in need of love I got a canvas that was in this room and I removed it and put it here and here I have another frame with one of my paintings it's a watercolor painting really really love it so yeah it's staying there but yeah i think that's mostly it guys i hope you like it i'll add a clip with how it looks in the evening when it's really really dark 
and um, you know there's still gonna be some changes I think I would love to get a little rug to make it cozier here um, figure out maybe some more storage but, um, yeah that's mostly it I am so excited to finally pack some orders paint and just film more studio vlogs in such a comfortable workspace it's so much better than what I had before but um Thank you so much for watching. I guess I'll see you next time. Also, I'm probably gonna take a little break now for a few days or maybe a week so that I can finish my commissions um, and that I can get my work done and then I can go back to, you know, working more comfortably and sharing what I'm up to. But yeah, for now, this is it. I guess I'll see you next time. Bye guys.